we thank God for bringing us together, for gathering us as one community of faith on this third Sunday of Lent. I know that many of us could not be physically present in our respective parishes, but thanks to this technology, we could be still connected to one another and we experience that in every Eucharistic celebration, we are part of Jesus. The body of Christ. At binabati natin sa isang natatanging pamamaraan ang mga kapwa natin Pilipino. Una dito sa Italia at sa Europe at sa iba pang mga bansa. This morning, uh, I received a message of thanks from someone in Hong Kong saying, this Mass live streaming that they could follow is a big, big help and boost to them. So, uh, hindi po kayo nag-iisa. Magkakasama po tayo. And we thank God also this Sunday for the 20 years of uh, priestly ministry given by God to Father Andrew Reception. So we remember all our uh, ordained ministers have been called to serve the Lord in season and out of season. Uh, allow me to share a few points for reflection based on our readings. It's the third Sunday of Lent, and so we are being invited to really come closer to Jesus, to get to know Him. Who is He? Who on Good Friday will be crucified like a criminal, insulted? But who is he? Who is he? Today we have this long and beautiful gospel from St. John. May Jumahaba kasama na po yan sa penitensya po ng ating uh, uh, kwaresma. Uh, three short points for our reflection. Mainly from the gospel. The f- and he got tired. And we can imagine how the journey was at that time. It must have been tiring. Nakakapagod ang paglalakbay. And Jesus with his disciples stopped. Jesus sat at the well at Sikar, the well that land that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. And that's where he met the Samaritan woman who was also tired coming there all the time to get water. But there was a moment to stop. This is the first point. Many of us are tired without admitting it. Somehow, it is embarrassing to say, I am tired. I need to stop. But now we are in a situation where we are told to stop. Or at least to continue what could be continued. But this is a moment to admit we are human, we can get tired mentally, physically, emotionally. And there's nothing wrong to pause when we decide to pause. There's nothing wrong if we go to a well and 
just wait for water, for something, someone to refresh us. And when you are tired and you pause, Jesus might meet you. Jesus knows what it means to be tired. Para sa napakaraming tao na ngayon ay pagod na pagod, kaiisip, malayo sa pamilya, hindi alam kung ano ang mangyayari, may trabaho pa kaya ako. Makakapagod na po. Huwag ko kayong mag-alala. Kasama niyo si Jesus. Kasama natin si Jesus. Napagod din siya. At alam niya ang karanasan ng napapagod. He said, Come to me, you who are overburdened. I will give you rest. That's the first uh, point. The second what a surprise a surprising gift to both Jesus and the Samaritan woman they met at the well and the occasion of, of, of uh, tiredness was turned into one of the deepest dialogues or conversations or personal encounters that we find in scriptures. The truth about this woman and the truth about Jesus somehow merge in this encounter. Para po doon sa mga naiinis, hindi makalabas ng bahay, hindi makalabas ng kwarto, buti nga. Baka pagkakataon na ito, makausap si Jesus. Sometimes, we, uh, we fill our days with so many activities, going here and there, coming in and out, uh, facing this or that, but do we have time to talk with each other? Do we have time to talk with Jesus? This conversation between Jesus and the Samaritan woman should be a model of our, of our, our prayer, of our uh, encounter with him. Jesus begins as a beggar. Give me something to drink. But in the end, he became the giver. The giver of water. Life-giving water. Let us not shun away or just drive away people who are asking. In the end, they might be the one with the gift to give. And the gift that Jesus gave to the woman was this, the water, life-giving water, the Holy Spirit that St. Paul in the second reading talks about. The Holy Spirit of truth. The woman got to know herself. Who is this truth self? Who am I? The truth about her. And then seeing also the truth about Jesus. Worship in spirit and truth. Maganda po itong nangyari kay Jesus at sa babae. Si Jesus na una, siya ang nanghihingi. Pero bandang huli, siya pala 
ang may ibibigay. Kaya huwag kayong maiinis kapag may lumalapit sa inyong manghihingi. Naku, baka mas malaki ang ibigay niyan kaysa sa maibibigay mo. O, huwag naman kayo mangutang na mga utang ka agad-agad. Sabi, Ay, sabi ni Cardinal, manghingi, manghingi. Ma, hindi, mag-ano rin naman. Ano? Pero ganun, ano, misan, ano tayo eh, meron palang hihingi. Gusto na nating pagtabo yan. Pero baka mas malaki ang iyong matatanggap. At ang natanggap ng babae ay ang Espiritu Santo. Yung sabi ni Jesus, tubig na buhay. Ang Espiritu na mag-uwi sa katotohanan. Nakilala ng babae kung sino siya, ang katotohanan tungkol sa kanya. At nakilala niya si Jesus. At first, Jesus appeared just like an, any Jew, a man. How come you, a Jew, would ask water from me, a woman? And then later on, with Jesus asking for water, but giving water to her, she said, Are you a prophet? Aha. Not just a Jewish man, but a prophet. And then later on, he said, the woman said, I heard that a Messiah will come. The one talking with you is the Messiah. From being a simple Jewish man to a prophet to Messiah. Worship in spirit and in truth. You're stranded in your room, in your house. Don't lament. Jesus is waiting to talk with you. And Jesus is eager to give us this living water of the spirit. Our thirst for truth, our thirst to be accepted, to be loved, our thirst for the prophet, the Messiah, who is promised to us. So I'm urging the parents, please spend time in conversation with your children. For all you know, you do not know your children. Maybe this is the time for you to see the truth. Who are they? Husbands and wives, mga mag-asawa, mag-usap kayo ngayon, din ba kayo pwede mag-shopping? Baka makilala ninyo, ito pala ang tunay kong asawa. Baka hindi nyo kilala na yan eh. Yung pinakasalan nyo 20 years ago, iba na ngayon yan. Sa tulong ng Espiritu Santo, makilala muli at makilala si Jesus. And finally, the third, siguro sabi niya salamat, finally na. The third, when the thirst of the woman for truth, her thirst to see the Messiah was fulfilled, she ran and she left her water jar. She forgot. to get water because her real thirst has been met. And there was another thirst to share the good news. Thirst for mission. Thirst to run so that I could share with others what I have experienced. And so, let us look for opportunities during this uh, moment to really share our experiences of Jesus. In your homes, in your exchange of text messages, in your exchange of uh, uh, phone calls, emails, imitate the Samaritan woman. Share your encounter with Jesus. 
invite them to see Jesus. Many Samaritans came to Jesus, begged him to stay. Si Jesus ni lockdown nila. Stay with us. Do not leave us. And I'm sure those Samaritan uh, people who have met Jesus will in turn tell others. This is the virus that we need to spread. I don't want to call it a virus, but if a virus is characterized by being spread, but you need a carrier. We do not want to be carriers of deadly disease, but we are being asked, like this woman, to be the carrier of the good news. And we should show the world that this should and will spread faster. And it is more potent than any virus on this earth. Huwag na pong magkalat ng kung ano-ano pang makakasira. Ipakita natin na ang mabuting balita ni Jesus ay mas mas mabilis pang kumalat pero kailangan may carrier. Kaya lahat tayo dapat maging carriers ng gospel, ng mabuting balita at ng lumaganap ang pag-asa, pananampalatay, at pagdadamayan sa oras ng krisis. Let us pause and open our hearts, our tired, tired hearts to Jesus. He is with us. Let us engage Him in dialogue. He will give us the Holy Spirit so that we will know ourselves and know Jesus. And finally, spread the gospel. Spread Jesus as the hope, the light, and the salvation of the world.